Well, here we got yet another example in the Talmudic Jewish Lobby's Nazi-like campaign and attack on free speech that has been waged for almost 2,000 years. Ever since the days of the early church, for example, in Acts 13, Acts 17, Acts 14, they've been trying to attack and go after free speech. You probably saw my cat just jump there in the background. Uh, but this is just yet another uh, example of their Nazi-like attack on free speech. Because I said before, the, the Talmudic Jewish lobby is so much has so much in common with the Nazis in how much they would, you know, in how they attack and censor opinions they don't like. It's very, very similar, which is not surprising when you consider the fact that the Nazis did have quite a lot of uh, Judaic connections. I'll put it that way, Jesuitical Judaic connections. But. Uh, in the article, this is on the Jewish Daily Forward, it says, Shadowy Israeli app turns American Jews and the foot soldiers in online war. Yeah. And I should point this out as well. When I'm criticizing uh, Talmudic Jews, I'm going after it from a, a religious standpoint. I criticize religious Jews, many of whom are not even of the, uh, this are not, are not even descendants of Abraham, you know, physically speaking. Okay, I support physical Israel, you know, the actual descendants of Abraham, the right to be physically in the land of Israel. But when I criticize Jews, I'm criticizing religious, okay? It's only based on religious lines. So, because people call me racist, uh, it's not, ra Judaism is a religion, okay? It's not racist to criticize a religion or a religious group. And I'm criticizing them solely as a religious group, not as, uh, you know, as of them being descendants of Abraham, which again, many of these Talmudic Jews have absolutely no connection to Abraham. But it says here in this article on the Jewish Daily Forward, it says a dozen or so Israelis sitting around at a conference table at the Jewish Community Center in Tenafly, I think I say it, New Jersey, on a recent Wednesday night, didn't look uh, like the leading edge of a new Israeli government link Crown, uh, linked crowd-sourced online propaganda campaign. Tapping on laptops, a group of high school students and adult mentors uh, completed social media missions assigned out of a headquarter in Harris, Ilya, Israel. Some, uh, later, some planned the shooting of a pro-Israel video that weekend. At the end of the evening, adult uh, mentors filled out a form and sent to send a report back to the office in Harris, Ilya. Uh, call it a pro-Israel human botnet. The Herzliya, Her Herzliya, whatever say it, headquarters is the base of ACT.IL, a hybrid Israel advocacy effort and online information operation. The joint project of two Israeli not-for-profits uh, is led by the former Israeli intelligence officers who has close ties to Israel's intelligence services, its Ministry of Strategic Affairs, and American Jewish casino billionaire Sheldon Adelson. ACT.IL's uh, leadership framed that program as an effort to counterbalance anti-Israel attitudes online. But how they're going to do so is attacking free speech. And by the way, too, when it comes to Israel, like I said, you know, I support uh, physical Israel, the right to be physically in that land, but I don't support the Israeli government, the, the labor Zionist Jesuit ran Israeli government. So I need to just uh, throw that one out there as well. Okay, my support for Israel does not go beyond me supporting the, the actual, like not, not the false religion of Talmudic Judaism, but actual physical Israel who can actually trace their, like essentially actual Israelites to be physically in that land. That's, that's where my support goes. It's not beyond that. Okay. I don't, I'm not, I'm not this kind of person who just blindly says that Israel can do no wrong. No, they're a pretty wicked nation. Okay. And physical Israel is indeed in a lot of sin, but there is a, a future plan for them that God has. But it says here in the article, continuing on, ACT.IL aims to build a strong, effective online community that will act as a act to change the narrative. So the project's founder and CEO, Yarden Ben Yosef, the project comes amid a wave of Israeli and American Jewish efforts, Jewish efforts to push back against the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement, which is part of the larger campaign against freedom of speech. To push back against essentially criticism in America or Canada of a foreign nation, basically. That's what they're trying to do. So if you're here in Canada or over in America, they want to shut down you criticizing a foreign nation, apparently. Like you somehow have to pledge some kind of allegiance to a foreign nation or whatever. It's a bunch of garbage. But it says here, as Russian bots and hackers demonstrated in 2016, governments and other actions are increasingly interested in seeking ways to uh, distort the information landscape and mold online discourse. Act.il is a new entry into this online propaganda war, but instead of Russian style bots and hackers, it has thousands of mostly US based volunteers who can be directed from Israel into a social media swarm. 
ACT.IL's tools include a mobile app and, and volunteer teams in America fully operational since June. Its work so far offers a startling glimpse into how it could shape the online conversations about Israel without ever uh, showing its hand. Yeah. Which, again, comes at the cost of free speech and expression. Which, again, is totally Nazi-like and communist-like. Which, by the way, Nazism and communism are just two sides of the same coin. Let me just kind of throw that out there as well. Uh, so, because like, like, oh, you're you're some kind of neo-Nazi if you criticize Judaism. No, I, I mean, first of all, I'm Slavic. Which, you know, how does that work? Because we were targeted by the, you know, by them as well. But second of all, you know, since when is, is any kind of criticism of Judaism? See, what they do is they'll slander any kind of criticism as you're just a neo-Nazi. Well, you know, I I criticize Nazism, which is basically just communism repackaged. So just have they just go on a little rant there, but that was free. But it's, you know, it's at the cost of free speech what they're doing. It's all that it is. But it says here, it's an effort in which Israeli security forces are playing a strong supporting role. At the very least, Ben Yosef, an eight-year-old veteran of the Israeli Army Intelligence, initially told the forward that Israel's military and its domestic intelligence service, the Shin Bet, request uh, ACT.IL's help in getting services like Facebook to remove specific videos that call for violence against Jews or Israelis. Later, Ben Yosef walked back that statement saying that Shin Bet and the army don't uh, request help on specific videos but are in regular and informal contact with ACT.IL. He said that ACT.IL staff are largely made up of former Israeli intelligence officers. We know each other, quote, quote unquote, we know each other, he said. Uh, he said of his group's relationship with members of Israel's intelligence community, quote, you don't get, this, you don't, you don't get sent a link to a specific video we talk with each other, we work together, unquote. And once again, this is, you know, may sound all nice and great, but it's at the cost of free speech and freedom of expression. That's the truth of the matter. And this campaign, this communist Nazi-like campaign against free speech waged by the Talmudic Jewish lobby is, you know, has been successful, other times it's failed, but the problem is, is that they just can't stand any kind of opinions they don't like. You see, instead of engaging in debate and discussion, they'll just try to shut you down, which again is reminiscent of what they would do in the book of Acts, like in Acts 14, you know, 13, 17, uh, 20, Acts chapter 20, Acts 21 talks about that, how when they couldn't refute the apostles, well, they tried to stir up angry mobs to have them stoned and brought and, you know, chase them out of the city, chase them out of the area, because that's the, that's the truth of the matter. The Talmudic Jewish lobby of the apostles days hasn't changed one bit. The only difference is their methods have changed from instead of organizing angry mobs, they organize internet mobs to go after you. That's the truth of the matter. And they've proven time and time again that they're against free speech. And this is just one more example of that. So don't be deceived by the false religion of Judaism and don't be deceived by their attempts at trying to, you know, whitewash their attacks on free speech. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.